Welcome back to Tiger Wolf Productions and welcome to the video review of Transformers uh, Cyberverse Bumblebee Window Cleaner um, Cheesy Cheetos show I couldn't really care about. It's, it's Hammerbite. <clears throat> it's Hammerbite from Transformers Cyberverse. Um, <clears throat> yeah. AKA a show I haven't seen. Don't care to see. Um, yeah, so this is Hammerbite from Transformers Cyberverse. Um, as you can see, he is a robotic hammerhead shark. He's a very nice hammerhead shark as well. He, he very much reminds me of the plethora of hammerhead shark maximals in the beast era. Uh, there, there's cyber shark, uh, air hammer, the fusor, um, and then beast machines. There's uh, hammer strike. Yeah, so yeah, so there, there are a few uh, maximal hammerhead sharks. I guess this guy's kind of a Successor to those guys, if you will, um, and, and he fit. He fits right in with your Beast Wars crew. Um, just, just ignore that Autobot symbol there. If you really squint at it, it kind of turns into a Maximal symbol. Uh, but yeah, he's a very nice little carnivorous fish. Um, there he is from the top, and you see he's. Uh, first of all, he's got all kinds of great mechanical details. I do like the, like this back here. This is nice. It it it's a little obvious that these are going to be his legs because you can see his feet right here. But yeah, that doesn't really bother me none. Um, his body's primarily this sky blue, kind of the the illusion's kind of ruined because there's two shades of it, but. It's slightly off, just slightly. Um, he's got this dark gray here. Very nice. His eyes are the same sky blue. Don't want him to look evil now, do we? Um, and he's got this nice metallic blue as well. And these boost... I like these boosters here. He's got... He, he really has a transmetal... He's really got a transmetal vibe about him with the metallic paint and the the boosters. Again, it's a shark, so it's got fins galore. Um, and of course, being a shark, he's not very poseable. I mean, you can open the jaw. Nom, nom, nom. Jeez. Okay. There's the tail back here. You can kind of get some movement out of it. You can kind of wiggle it just slightly. If you want. Oh, no, you can't. It clips in. Never mind. <clears throat> I guess if you want, you can turn the fins. But, I mean, it's more for the transformation and plus... Shark fins don't really do that. <clears throat> it also kind of unpegs the arms here. Talking to the arms, there's not that bad of undercarriage. You, you can make out the arms, the legs, and the top of the head there, but it's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so he is a very nice hammerhead shark. And he's one of two sharks, two, in Transformers Cyberverse. Uh, there's all, there's him and Skybite. Skybite is a Decepticon. Uh, both factions have a shark. And you know what? They never meet and do battle, which is, I find, extremely disappointing. Uh, he's around deluxe size. Uh, for an idea of how big he is, here's core class vertebrae. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
very nice hammerhead shark. And it, and again, it reminds me very much of the, um, you know, Beast Wars Cyber Shark, who recently got reissued. You might see him on the show pretty soon. Wink. Um, you know, Beast Wars Air Hammer, even though Air Hammer's a Fusor, meaning he has the head of a hammerhead shark and the tail of a hammerhead shark, but the body of a hawk. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, still kind of reminds me of him too. And uh, Hammer Strike from Beast Machines. Um, so yeah, he's a nice little, nice shark mode. Very nice. Uh, I think we'll do the transformation now. So... Just going to go ahead and get on with it. Oh, wait. Hang on. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's nice and simple. And there's a gimmick with this arm here. So, there we go. And it's kind of easy to set off. Close the shark's jaw. And you can kind of see a humanoid shape in here. I wish the tail became like a sword or something. I'll, I'll get on that later, but yeah. You can see the uh, bot kind of taking shape here. And there he is. There is Hammerbite. In his robot mode. Very cool looking. He, he has a very mean looking face right there. He, he's kind of making a scowl like, you know, it's like I'm giving you a very dirty look right now. I like the, I dig the trident on the head. Um, yeah. Very nicely proportioned. There's the back. That's another thing that reminds me of Air Hammer. Um, the 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 shark mode head ends up on the as the backpack, though not quite in the same way. <clears throat> um, yeah, you you do see more of that light blue coming through. You got the metallic blue here on the knees, the kneecap thingies, which is really nice. There is additional detail in the legs, right here, and right here. His legs kind of have a fishy look about them, too, which, you know, he is a fish, so, you know, fits him. Um, ball joint shoulders, ball joint elbows. Again, want to be careful with this shoulder. I'll just use this one. Ball joint shoulders, ball joint elbows, ball joint hips, hinge knees. Uh, head does not move. Although for some reason, for some reason his head does that. It, it dislocates like that. For the life of me, I do not know why. It's not needed for the transformation. It's just it's just there. Um, I do like these kind of knuckles. These kind of knuckles, the echidna style spikes here on the fist. That's really nice. Um, 
Yeah, he doesn't seem to have any weapons. That's one thing. I, I, I kind of wish the tail became like a sword or something. Uh, I guess you could say the fins on his arms here. Yeah. I guess you can say he does that. I like the how the uh, shark jaw ends up on the chest. Um, a la Rhinox from Beast Wars. Uh, it's, it's not the real jaw. It's a falsy, but yeah, they kind of cheat. Detail's really nice. Again, I like the head. Yeah. So what's going on with this arm? Well, he doesn't have any weapons, but I guess really you don't need any weapons when you can do this. Yeah, he has a third mode, which is kind of like a, a what Pia calls the wear shark mode. His shark mode head comes over his robot head, and the the fake jaw kind of flips up, and yeah, you kind of get this street shark looking creature. Um, yeah. This is what's called his rip thrash mode. So I guess like you get the idea. <laughs> Maybe he like puts Decepticons or Predacons in his mouth and he just like <laughs> Just, like, thrashes around. Yeah. I like that quite a bit. That's really fun. Chica! <laughs> it's kind of addictive. So, if I keep doing that... Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Again, um... He goes great with your Beast Wars collection. Just, just ignore that Autobot symbol. <laughs> pretend it's a maximal symbol. Or if you want, you can pretend he's like an elder Autobot, if you want. Or, you know, you could actually use him as part of the show he's from, but, but you know. I'm a huge Beast Wars guy, so and this guy is very Beast Wars like, so yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So he is really cool. Um, like the colors, like the details. Nice shark mode, nice bot mode. He's got that, so that's a bonus. And he's got a third mode that actually looks like something. So yeah. I definitely do recommend you, if you can find this guy, definitely do pick him up. I guess you can, like, pretend he has, like, a blade that comes out of his leg or something. All right. I'm pressing on here. Um, so, yeah, that is Cyberverse. Hammer bite. Yeah, he's yeah, he's very nice. If you can find him, definitely do snatch him up. <laughs>